and all very nice and exciting and of course this is the variable that it gives us and that's the variable that we're operating on and now there is also a four loops evil stepchild each which I showed you a little bit earlier we showed you an example of so we could very well change this to a code block which would look like foods that each do food which does exactly the same thing as you can see it's exactly the same thing and uses the code blocks that which I explained to you earlier all right so now that you've learned all this I'm actually gonna show you a very concrete example it's kinda practical but it's not gonna actually be implemented in a realistic or real application we're gonna be implementing a menu system so we're gonna have input is equal to an empty string and that will be our variable and we have to define that first because if we don't then our loop will give us an error so we're gonna do until input is equal to quit and whoa and we're gonna uh, do put string and we're gonna print out our menu for the user and I am unindenting this so it prints out to the console correctly two credits three quit exit okay so now input will equal git string dot chomp so we don't need the exclamation point git string dot, dot chomp and what chomp does it gets off the trailing new line character that you get when you press enter to send the input to the program then we're going to use a case statement which you also learned about and when it's one then we're going to put string hi when it is two we're going to give us the credits so put string written by Tyler Church and you can put your name there if you want to and else we're gonna put input invalid so if they so if they gave our program something that it can't use there you go let's run it and test it out and there we go we have our menu right there I'm gonna push one and it says hello it says hi press two and it says written by Tyler Church and press three oh crap I did that wrong I'm so sorry um input invalid. I didn't implement 3 because I forgot about it actually but when 3 then input equals quit which is actually a roundabout way of doing that. We could also use the command exit which exits a Ruby program but I wanted to do it like that because I'm the programmer and alright now 3 quits it for us. Very very nice. Okay you know, that wasn't as long as I thought it was going to be, but I still covered a very large amount of material, so feel free to watch the video again or review the example code and the transcript that I have up on the website. Feel free to do that. Um, link to the transcript is in the video description. So, and this is the end of the video. So, do not forget to donate. I am doing this for free. The more money I get, the more videos I'll make. Maybe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions about anything, the videos, manwithcode.com, anything, leave a comment on this page, tell me about it, or email me at tyler at manwithcode.com. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.